Hello there. Star Wars Clone Wars Volume 1 Characters. Now, of course, your main characters would be Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi because the story basically follows them after A Phantom Menace. It continues on their storyline in Attack of the Clones. And in Clone Wars, it basically continues that. However, you do get glimpses at side characters and characters which don't even exist now. One of my favorite would be Dirge, a bounty hunter that works with the Trade Federation. He seemed to be like this weird, worm-like alien, which put himself together as like one whole colony, kind of like the, the aliens in Halo, the Hunters. They're literally a massive assortment of worms where one worm is in charge and tells the body how to form itself, caging itself in armor. That's what Dirge seemed to be, and I love that. He had no lines, but he seemed to be a boss as he took on Obi-Wan. He had a fleet of droids that followed him. Of course, his droids really didn't do anything. They died immediately, just like the clones which followed Obi-Wan. But the fact that he was a unique alien, he seemed like a powerful, strong alien, and he had an awesome speeder. I loved the look of his speeder. It had like this alien rhino skull at the front of it. And I always wish that Clone Wars or the Clone Wars would have brought him back. Instead, he was traded out for Cad Bane. At least, I guess that was the transition they did. Cad Bane is an enjoyable character, but I always loved Dirge. He seemed like an awesome character, and I would have loved to seen him return. Another character that got time, of course, was Yoda. You also got to see Yoda fighting. You got to see him being wise. You got to see him basically doing the same thing he did in Attack of the Clones. So it wasn't entirely unique. What was unique was the Boba Fett treatment of... Mace Windu. And why I call it the Boba Fett treatment is Mace Windu in the movies, he's awesome the second you see him. You want to see more of him. It's the Boba Fett. The second you see Boba Fett, the second he's addressed by Darth Vader, you know he's he's the one to be, look out for. The fact that Darth Vader addresses him, telling him to do no disintegrations, tells you something about Boba Fett's character. So you know that he's a powerful guy. You know that he's a smart guy. And you get the same feeling with Mace Windu throughout the movies. He has, He's there. They talk about him, but you never see him fight until 3, but that's where he's basically given the Boba Fett treatment, where you see him fight, and then he's killed off way too quickly. He's been talked up so long, and you hear about him so often, and then instantly, when it comes to him dying, it's this weak, short scene, which you wished you could have seen more. Of course, out of all the Masters that were sent... He was far better, which is why it was the Boba Fett treatment. But in this Clone Wars, you see him doing ridiculous things. He's fighting thousands of droids single-handedly. At one point, he loses his lightsaber, and he starts basically mixing martial arts with the Force as he is doing Force punches, running around, flipping these droids around, and blasting them everywhere. I did love the aspect of mixing in the Force and martial arts. That seemed rather unique. The ability of using your own momentum and adding the force on top of it seems actually rather smart. It seems like it would make an impact far more impactful. So I love that, and I wish they actually integrated that more into the movies. Because that seems like it would actually work and fit in that. But of course, not to the point where he's blasting several droids out. There's one part where Mace Windu removes all the screws of a droid and it falls apart. Which is rather funny. Cool, but funny. So he was basically given the Boba Fett treatment where you see him awesome everywhere else, but in the movies, he's killed off quickly. A character who everyone seems to talk about and already knows is given this treatment is Kit Fisto. Kit Fisto never receives the Boba Fett treatment. And the Boba Fett treatment is actually, I think, more respectful to do. I'd rather get that than what happened to Kit Fisto. Kit Fisto is never given any power. You see him in the movies, he seems weak. He seems non-powerful. He ki is killed by Darth Sidious in a matter of seconds in Revenge of the Sith. But here in Clone Wars, he's basically fighting like Mace Windu. He's swimming through the water, using his lightsaber, destroying ships, destroying droids. And it's really nice to see the fact that he has this power too. I don't like it when they basically kill off the Jedi way too quickly. If you can 
see anything. I kind of wish that Mace Windu, Kit Fisto, all those Jedi would have fought longer with Darth Sidious. I think that would have made more sense than him ending Maul quickly. I know they wanted to make Darth Sidious seem strong, but at least toy with him a bit. Make it seem like he's toying with the Jedi before he ends up killing him and leaving it Mace Windu versus Darth Sidious. <laughs> oh, I'm going off track. But Kit Fisto was awesome as he was swimming through the water, destroying everything. That's one thing that has always made Star Wars great, was its characters. Its ability to make you fall in love with characters that don't really even have a story. Like everyone fell in love with Boba Fett, even though he was really just there for a bit. He didn't really do much. You fall in love with Kit Fisto because you see him in one scene in Attack of the Clones near the end. If there's any reason to really watch Clone Wars is to watch, well, probably Mace Windu. Mace Windu's fighting is one of the best scenes. His basically martial arts is one of the coolest things as he's flipping around, jumping over droids, making them explode. I thought was one of the coolest things in this series, at least in volume one. If you haven't caught on by now, I really think Clone Wars is definitely worth the watch. Absolutely. Two reviews on it, one basically on, well, whatever could be considered the story of it, and then the characters. It's just great. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Toodles. Mm-hmm.